Hello, Bumpy Mix Squiggums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Lords of Shulama. This is episode 32, and we are going to continue with our very, very important stuff. I am, if I recall correctly, heading to use my hand. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm all over it. I am all over it, guys. All right, we're going to head this way. Did we purify the temple yet? Hold on. I, I'm almost all over it. I'm almost all over it, guys. Let's see here. No, we, we have not. Okay. There we go. Alright. All over it. All over it again. We can now enter these. That's right. The Temple of Melancholy. Or the temp Tower of Sorcery, as it were. Tower of Melancholy, I suppose it was. You insert the Hand of Galat into the door. The key starts to shine with a blinding light. You hear no sound of the lock mechanism, but the door begins to slide silently to the side allowing you entrance into the dark interior. Alright, so here is the Tower of Sorcery, the Tower of Melancholy. You breathe deeply as you step into the shallow and icy water. You feel as if the tower is enchanted, or more likely, cursed. How many treasure seekers have lost their lives beneath these walls? In the distance, you see a skull with bright, ruby-red eyes observing you with an evil smile. <laughs> Welcome, treasure seekers! Your skulls will make great decorations here in the Tower of Melancholy. Ha 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 The skull grin, skull's grin chills your blood. His eyes, the sharp eyes continue to stare directly at you. Well, he seems very jovial and rather excited and super happy, so we're going to wander around a bit. Looks like there's some doors to open here. And, yep, switches on the walls. Okay. Guess we'll do that first. Aha! There's a trap. Wow. Night and day between having the ability to disarm and not having the ability to disarm. Alright, let's take a look. The blood! Blood regenerates. Er, Follow the path of mana and blood. Blood! 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 <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Don't know what any of that means just yet, or do I? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Cure Wounds is the spellbook that we just got. I'm not sure that helps us any right now. I'm going to go around to the east side of the temple, or the tower as it were, and open this door. And is there another trap? There is. Okay. Let us do this. Wow. Alright. Simple and easy. The Herald of Death walked over the waters, but the most powerful knights turned their backs to him and continued on their way. Hmm. That might be a clue. Alright, let's see. Ooh, scroll of cure wounds. Apparently there's going to be a lot of wounds involved. I don't know. It's fine. I don't think there's anything else in these areas. I've kind of scouted this before. I don't remember what this puzzle was. I think it's something like... There it is. Alright, whatever. It's like two of them down, one of them up. I couldn't remember which one was which. Blah, 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 blah. It's fine. Alright, I don't think there's any. Whoa. Well, it doesn't usually start off green, does it, guys? I almost stepped on that one. That would have been bad. That would have been nasty, as they say. Now, let's go take a look over here. They did seem to say that blood was not a good thing, so we should probably avoid blood if we can. Looks like there is a plus two speed ring, which I don't really think is super great for us, so... We'll hold on to it and see later down the road if that is something we indeed do need. Aha, there's another trap. I thought there might be. I was under the impression that this place is pretty well trapped. So if there's a spider, I don't like spiders, guys. I really do not like them because they have that ability to poison us. And as you see, we are not super rich. So any time we have to spend money to cure... There it is. Nausea. It's a bad thing. Alright, well... It is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now. Hope that we can contain nausea and not get any more people nauseous, I guess. It's about the best we can hope for. We do not seem to hit very often either, unfortunately. Alright, well he's dead. So, worst case... I, I don't know. I don't know if there's a worst case. Um, he'll just get hurt a lot and... Hopefully he doesn't hit Mutana with a... Uh, uh, okay, good. Oh my gosh, that really, really hurt. Oh, 20 damage. I should have done something. Well, we do have food, right? Oh no, I moved into... Uh, it's fine. It's totally fine. Boom. And we said good day. 
whatever. Uh, what I might end up doing is resting for a brief period of time. Can I rest here? No. There we go. I'm just going to rest a little bit, and then I'm going to wake up. I'm going to go to him. I'm going to use one of those items that we have. The consumables. Don't we have um, the Cursed Hound's Tooth? Yeah. There we go. We'll just roll out that way. We'll do some light healing. And bam. Just like that. We are we are back in business, I guess you could say. It is pretty dark. We do have a couple torches left. So what does it say? The Hall of Blood. Blood is bad. Follow the blood, but I don't think we want to touch the blood. Uh, the treasury up there. It looks like people paid with their lives going there. It does not seem like this is a place that has a lot of random encounters, though, or any, to be honest, because it's not triggering over here with my little yellow globe. It's just kind of like the peaceful, you've cleared the area globe, so we will take that. Let's save the treasury again. It does. And there we go. We have made it through the, the circle of blood. I don't know, the thing. Alright, well, this seems pretty straightforward. Nope. There it is. Ooh, we have another trap, which we should be able to disarm pretty easily. There we go. And what do we have here but a cloak that does nothing for us and weighs us down. Excellent. And some more various things that doesn't matter so much and more. Alright, so what can we do? What can we do? We can probably use some of these things up. One additional skill point, I feel as though... Shiny Bob might actually benefit the most from that. Maximum power points, again, I'm going to have to go with Shiny Bob. Uh, maximum hit points, that one I might throw on Bumpy. On myself. Um, what is this? Uh, energy point? I think we'll go with Shiny Bob again. And these should be resistances, right? Yeah. So resist, resist... Yeah, I think we're good. We are still slightly, just slightly overloaded, though. Hmm. Kind of sucks. Um. Ooh, powerful strike. Um, isn't that what you use, good sir? Yes, you do. Well, you're actually almost maxed out with that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so he used that. Mutana used the Book of Powerful Strike. We don't have Cure Wounds just yet. Uh, Aura of Protection we do not have either. That might be something I need to actually focus on. Uh, we're, we're still lacking a little on the defensive side of things. So if we can get a little bit more defensive stuff, I think we'll be looking pretty good. Alright, we have triggered the, the overweighing thing to be gone, which is a glorious thing. Yeah, I assumed it would be that. Okay, well... Oh, really? Alright, didn't expect that. Ha! Huh. Well, we didn't break a lockpick, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Ooh, what's this? It's like, uh... Some potions, or, uh, some cauldrons to drink. Alright, we'll save there. Knights of the Lower Order followed the Herald of Death, and to them he gave his treasure. Hmm. Alright, maximum hit points by two. I think we'll throw that on a Bumpy. And unknown effects, we'll give that to Mutana, and he gained agility, so more likely to hit his targets. So he's good. Alright, so. The. Hmm. Okay. Well, it said the lessers followed him and he gave him the treasure, so these are smaller, so I assume they're lesser. And yes, yes, I was right. And the others turned their backs on him, so I guess we'll face everybody else away. Alright, um, let's murder you. Let's hope that we can, oh, not quite. Come on, dodge. No, more nausea. Dang it. Oh, we missed. Uh, I'm so sad. Block, dodge. 
Defense! Yeah! Woohoo! Alright, we just hit ourselves with a stick. Awesome. Alright, well, we should be able to annihilate... Oh my god. Alright, we should be able to annihilate them, but I, I don't know about that. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. And we said good day. Well, nausea times two. We did get four rat teeth, which is just basically vendor food. Ooh, and we got food reserves too, which is sweet, sweet, nice. But that also meant that we are now overloaded. They... Ooh, one of them does have something. Okay. He's got a copper mace. Not super great. Um... Okay, it seems that we got a scroll of Stone Arrow 3 and a Book of Aura of Protection. Alright, let's see what's in here. Meh. An unidentified necklace. There we go. Alright, simple and easy. Ooh, good, good. Sweet, sweet money. We needed cash and we just got it. I do not believe there's any other secrets in here. Again, there's things I'm sure I've missed, guys. I mean, there are things I obviously missed. I mean, the last episode I went back through and showed you many of the things I missed. So don't freak out too much. Chances are I'll either never find them, or I'll come back to them later when I figure it out. But no need to freak out. No need to freak out. Alright, looks like the skull has something to say. You are close, but he sees you. He's observing you. He's assessing you, because nothing escapes his gaze, but he guards it. He is the guardian of that which you crave. Look into his eyes, if you dare. <laughs> Alright, so there is that. Let's uh, do a quick save. Oh, and I didn't see the trap in time. Boo! Reload the quick save. Quick, save scum. No, no we're not going to do that. Alright, I am going to rest, I think. Yes, I am going to rest. Until everybody's healed, it should be real quick, and it was. Alright, the last floor of the tower seems to be untouched, as if nothing has happened here for quite some time. On the floor, you see a large chest that most likely encloses the artifact you seek. But, with horror, you also find an abominable creature with many eyes. Eyes that are watching you with hate. Eyes that wish for your death. I don't know if there's a specific way to deal with this, this takes you back to the beginning. I'm not going to walk into it this time. I've walked into it every other time, and I hate myself for it. So, yeah, I don't know if there's a good way to approach this guy or what. This is a pretty nasty fight. I'm hoping we're strong enough to deal with it. Well, that's a good sign. All right, we're going to start off with our big attack. That actually hit him pretty darn hard, too. Um, oh, looks like we actually have an attack that I forgot that we had. Nice. So we, too, will use our aim strike. What? Crit! No. Oh, that would have been sweet. Well, this is actually not that bad of a fight, then. Uh, that's the thing. They get crazed when he does a certain move. And when they're crazed, they can skip their turn, hit allies, or hit themselves, apparently. And Shiny Bob decided he was a masochist. He hit himself. That wasn't great. It wasn't great. Alright, so there we go. And, oh. Darn. And we have crazed again. Oh, ooh, that was a nasty hit on our mage. It's an unfortunate turn loss there. It was kind of the best of both worlds. There's another big stun attack. Or just, well, I guess it's just damage. We're pretty overleveled for this particular fight, so it's not as bad as it should be. Just so you guys know. Normally, like, if we did that originally at the right level, if I had figured out all this stuff about the Golden Forest and everything earlier, that would have been exceptionally difficult. It was still pretty nasty. We got beat up pretty bad there. But, in the grand scheme of things, we didn't do too poorly. Alright, let's open the chest, and it looks like there's an unidentified polearm, axe, and the te Tears of Naliot. Naliot. Naliot? Sure. Alright, the Divine Artifacts. In the Tower of Melancholy, I found a Divine Artifact, the Tears of Naliot. Naliot's Tears is a pendant with eight ormal crystals cut in the shape of teardrops. Each of the crystals shines with intensely brilliant and pure light, and can be easily removed from the pendant. When you hold the pendant close to your ear, it seems you can hear the soft roaring of the ocean. There is an inscription around the outside that reads, Just one tear from Naliet is enough to free the ocean from all its evils. <clears throat> Alright, so what the subtle hint is there, folks, and we're going to actually go do that right now so I don't feel bad. There's two schools of thought and two reasons to do things. And it's 
terrain is too hazardous. I, oh, we can't sleep in cold, apparently freezing water. That's apparently a bad thing. We might drown in the half inch of water that's there. Anyhow, um, there's two schools of thoughts about doing what I'm about to do right now. And one of those is just to go and do it, which, of course, is what I'm going to do. The other one is wait until you're like level 35 or 40 or something and come back and deal with that guardian in the uh, garden over here inside of uh, the Temple of Fabret because they're pretty nasty or it's pretty nasty as you saw like one shot any of our guys was like our strongest dude just punched him and d down he went and he died so you can definitely sit around and level up and then come back here kill that guy and then come do the purification or you can come straight over here and do the purification this will actually allow us to advance the storyline a bit more so I'm coming here to purify so this is a well of souls, it's obviously a liquid, so the whole the whole scenario is throw an item into the well. You can throw items in to get experience and everything else, which I might end up doing. But I actually need money, so I'm probably not going to do that anymore. Um, but what you want to do whenever you come up to the well, the well of souls is use Nal Naliot's Tears and boom, purify and 480 experience. You throw Naliot's tear into the dark depths of the pool. The darkness within slowly subsides as souls disperse in all directions, free from its curse. You have purified this temple, and in so doing, or in doing so, you ensured that it will no longer generate energy for you. And the new journal event, the Divine Temple. The Temple of Bread has been purified. We threw the tear of Naliot into the well of souls, and the well was extinguished. Whatever happened to the souls that had been swirling and wailing within is unknown to me. The goddess Fabret will surely be pleased. This well will no longer be a source of power for Yule, but seven more remain active in the other Divine Temples. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. We have done the impossible. We have cleansed, we have purged, we have freed the Temple of Fabret. And we did so in a pretty impressive fashion, I'm not going to lie. Now, I'm not going to talk to the food vendor, because she will give us days worth of food. But, that's something to keep in mind. Next time I run really low, I need to come back here. I think she gives us three days of food. So if I ever go down to zero on food, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take care of that. In addition to that, folks, um, I figured out where the witch is. I haven't gone there yet. I don't know. I know the area that she's at, but I haven't actually made it to her on my own solo playthrough. Um, somebody gave me some pretty sound advice, and that is to come to the priestess over here and have her buff the living crap out of me so I'm much more powerful and then run over and try to deal with the ogre which is what I'm going to attempt so first and foremost I think I'm gonna go over here and talk to our favorite uh, vendor guy and try to sell some of this garbage in our inventory Good day, sir. you have restored the temple for bed I cannot imagine the horrors that were hidden behind its walls and to think the soldiers nearly dragged me there for not paying their oppressive taxes Please take these potions. You never know what dangers you'll encounter. I hope these will help preserve my most honored friends. All right, we got three remedy potions. I would like to take a look at your goods. Moreover, I would like you to identify some equipment for me. 104. Oh, it doesn't cost us that much to actually identify. Oh, that's good to know. All right, so one-handed axe. We use two-handed axes, so that's not really going to be useful to me. Pretty sure Shiny Bob has a... He already has a Copper Mace, okay. I'd say he has something comparable, or uh, we don't have anybody who actually uses the pole arm. The only one on the back line who does is Bumpy, and he's definitely not strong enough to actually be able to do it. And he doesn't have the skill, so... Meh. I say unto him, meh. We will get rid of the Ebony Spear. Let's see what else. There was at least, yeah, one more thing to identify. An emerald Necklace... Not really worth it. The Opal Breeze Ring. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I don't think it's worth it. Alright. Ring of the Prophet. Opal Ice Protection. Wind Absolute Protection. Emerald Necklace. Cloth, cloth Hero Cloak. That's probably pretty good. I'd say almost everything else probably not great. But that for sure is pretty good. We're at the point now where level 1... Potions are not going to be doing too much for us, so I'm going to start selling off the level 1 potions as much as it pains me. I might keep the magic potions. I mean, 10 mana is 10 mana. Use it out of combat. might be more useful than in. It's fine. But the level 1 potions are definitely not worth it for me any longer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
We have a lot of scrolls now, which is pretty nice. I haven't got Come to use a lot of them just yet, but we'll see. We will see. Um, I need to go and heal up, which sucks, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to actually talk to our boy here, too. Greetings. How happy I am to see you alive. It must have been terrible fighting the horrors of the temple. All the villagers have pitched in to offer you this to show our gratitude. Thank you. 500 coins. I will definitely take it. We're going to rest for 8 hours. No, we're not. No, we're, we're not. We're actually fine. I think we rested at some point already, so it's, it's all well and good. Alright, we're going to come here. Herald of the gods, you have liberated the Temple of Fabret from its damnation. May the gift of Fabret bless you for all time. I wish. Alright, oh, all characters gain a power point and a hit point. Nice. Alright, I would like you to heal me. Ugh, it's so expensive. It's okay. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to receive some blessings. Uh, we're going to get this one. We're going to get that one. I'm hoping that they stack. Um, May the God one second. I just want to make sure they stack. Okay, they do. They do. I, I thought they did. The just place. wanted to be sure. A blessing. Curse get. Constitution, fine. Uh, velvet, strength, yes. Uh, for Brett, resistances, don't really need that one. Defense and evasion, definitely need that. And Alnaet, maximum power points, probably don't need that one either. Alright, so we're going to roll with this. We're going to head right to Come the back. ogre, Whenever and we're going to try to kill him. So going to do a quick save. We're, we're going all in on this. And we're going to hope for the best. I might even pop a song of something. I'm sure we have a scroll or two that could help us in this particular endeavor. And we're going to go straight there, trying to linger on the road as long as possible. Of course, grab food along the way because we are food hewers, as it were. And then maybe we can come deal with some of the shrooms if we felt the need. Eh. It's These are suggestions, and I, I rather like the suggestions. This is going to be challenging. I still don't think we have the strength to do this, but I'm going to go for it. We're going to see. We're going to see what we have, what we can actually pull out. I apologize, guys. I bumped my, uh, my microphone there. All right. 71%, and we missed our first attack, which is horrible. Oh, but we did defend the first attack as well. Now, she doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage, so I'm going to use some magic items. And we're going to hopefully use a Song of Courage 5, which will make us hit more often. So I'm going to roll with that. He's only got 66%, but he hit and he crit, which is exceptional. Uh, they do the same amount. I don't care about using power points, so I'm going to do this, and it's going to burn. So that is excellent. Um, all right, Galen even landed the crit. Shiny Bob and Bumpy defending. What? Make a wish. Oh, the stun action. I'm going to try it again. Oh, we hit. We didn't crit. If we crit, that would have been disgustingly powerful. We're going with the aim shot here and another beautiful attack. Oh, a little baby attack on. Oh, this was a great idea. Thank you so much for whoever suggested. I apologize that I did forget your name. But I want to thank you once again for suggesting I do this. This was a really, really good idea. And it's something you guys should be aware of. And keep in mind, if you are playing it on a harder difficulty level, this is a pretty nasty fight, so I would definitely suggest you doing this. Probably even a little earlier than I'm doing it at this point. But as you see, we're still missing quite frequently, and when they do hit, they hit pretty hard. Alright, let's land this attack. Follow-up attack. Some more fire. And another swing and a miss. And another swing. No miss this time. The blood is coming forth. Oh, we got a stun. Another attack. Ooh, stunned on the back end. That's okay. And I think we're about to finish him off here. If the next volley of attacks actually hits, we should have him. Oh, we missed. Dang. Oh, but the stun. Not enough. I think Galen actually might be able to kill him right now. Boom. There it is. And we were victorious. It was a pretty tough fight, I'm not going to lie. Uh, with all those buffs, it seemed very, very, very easy, but let me assure you, it really is not an easy fight. So, again, thank you, kudos to you, whoever actually suggested that. 
Alright, we're going to use Shiny Bob to throw his aura of healing up. Ooh, the spell failed and he hurt himself. That's kind of embarrassing. Uh, there's a food bush up here. That's the only reason I'm coming this way. Now I'm going to actually walk over and we're going to try to deal with some of these shroom dudes. How much time do we have left on these? Oh, a little bit of time. 21 hours. So it's possible that we can actually deal with some of the shrooms. We'll see. We're, again, we're going to do a quick save here. And we're going to hope for the best. Now the shrooms, if they miss, they're not going to be that overwhelmingly awesome. If they don't, well... The only good news is we actually hit the mushrooms much more frequently than we do normally. Well, like on the other guy, so... In fact, we might have just killed one straight out, and that will help us immensely. So we should get some damage. Hopefully more damage. And then maybe a poison. I'm not sure what he does. I think these are the guys that sleep us, and I'd rather not be put to sleep. Though the poison's pretty nasty too to stack up. Alright. Well, we're looking pretty darn solid at this point. <laughs> Alright. Well, I gotta say, thank you again. Oh, no, these are the guys that sleep. Okay, the other ones are poison. Well, I suppose the sleep isn't that bad, then. If you think about it, in the grand scheme of things, you sleep, you get woken up, you hit, you know. Or when you get hit, they do an AoE damage attack. The sleep doesn't stack, so if they do double up on the sleep, you should still be fine. Their attacks are pretty, pretty pathetic as well, so. Um... Who, who is this guy? Oh, it is this guy over here. Well, let's do that. Save some, save some of our mana, because we do need it. Do need it. Um, throw that on him. Should be able to definitely make up some lost ground this way. This is actually quite awesome. Quite awesome. I right, can't do anything with him, and that's it. We actually defeated one of the mushroom groups. We got some spores, excellent. I am going to rest. Uh, ooh, and we even got to level up here. Let's actually do the level up first. All right, we're going to increase the strength a little bit more, and I think agility is going to be our best bet. We're going to go with crossbows. Shrewguns would have been fun, but, eh, like I said, it's too late now. Um, what are we looking at? Perception. Okay, we'll continue that. We have lock picking, disarmed, and aim strike. Um, I think we're okay with lock picking and trap disarming right now. So I am going to go with aim strike. Get a little bit more out of that. I mean, the, the improved attack rating of 30 is pretty substantial. So it goes up really nice with only one point increase of uh, power. I think I'm going to rest real quick so everybody's healed. We should still have most of our blessing left. Yeah, 13 hours on almost all of them, so. Come down here, gonna clear out as many of the shrooms as possible, and yeah. We may even end up breaking out the episode after this particular battle. Well, that's a nice hit. Uh, that way I can continue this on the, uh, the next episode. Because we're getting pretty close to the end of this one, and you guys get to see me coming back and doing some pretty and nasty stuff to our enemies right now, and i got to say I pretty pretty thoroughly enjoy this. So if you guys do tend to run into any kind of major problem that stops you, and you're struggling and you don't know where to go, if you have a little bit of extra cash, this is definitely one way you can go. And I say it's pretty darn impressive. Alright. Bam. What? Alright. Looks like we're going to take a little tiny bit of damage there. Probably going to sleep. No. Just a little bit more damage. Not that big of a deal. Nice hit from him and the kill blow. And then everybody else focuses over here. Ooh. Very nice. Critical hit. That. And Shiny Bob is out of range. But Galen said good day, sir. Bam. And I think that might do... You know what? We'll do one more. I don't know, guys. I always want to do that one more turn, that one more battle, that one more whatever. This game definitely gives me that feeling, so we're going to continue on. We're going to try to clear out as many of the shrooms as possible. Who knows? Maybe we'll stick around and try to finish all of them off. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to go for broke on the first one like we did last time. 
And it looks like it worked again. Ooh, he did not actually die. Hmm. It's okay. I'm gonna switch over. He should bleed. I'm assuming... Oh, we got poisoned. That's a little bit unfortunate. I was hoping to avoid that, but eh. It happens. He did not bleed out. That's kind of unfortunate, but we'll take him down now. Alright, no more uh, super mega attack powers. That's okay. We can totally tolerate that. Do some serious damage to him and take him out. Nope. Not quite. Oh, another poison. Alright, so this one's a little bit nastier. Let's see if we can drop these guys a little bit faster here. Oh, the sleep is coming through. Shiny Bob said good day. Um, maybe we can get through this guy pretty quick. Don't know. Resisted. Sweet, sweet, nice. You're done. Oh, you're not done. Really? Now you're done. All right. And Bumpy, you're not up for a while. Soon, though. Galen and... Shiny Bob can't do anything either. Hmm. Well, well, I guess we defend one more turn. Resisted, and is this enough? It is. All right, sweet. So we got through it. We'll do some Shiny Bob healing, some pew, 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 all the way through, and then we'll be set for the next one. Gotta say, guys, I have to say this is going exceptionally well. In fact, I still have a little bit of time left over. I mean, not necessarily on the recording itself, but just in general. What are we looking left here? 12 hours, I think we could probably rest. Um, we'll rest until they're all healed. It should not be a full 8 hours for that. Because it's 4 hours and 41 minutes left before we have to finish it, so we're going to continue on. And hopefully that one of our next people level up. I mean, the perception is always going to, or almost always going to, Kimiera, and she's gotten a pretty substantial lead on everyone else for levels, so... Don't know. I do not know. That was not quite enough, but Shiny Bob brought it home. He's like, yeah, let's get this done. Mm -hmm. Galen's like, alright, I'm starting it up. I suppose the mushrooms don't bleed, so it's kind of odd to consider them. Come on, give me an attack, not a poison. Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. Should be able to annihilate him really rapidly. In fact, he's already so hurt that I'm just going to leave him be. It's unfortunate because I could have probably avoided one of that. Eh. There we go. Everybody's back awake. Have toast. You are a mushroom, not toast, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. And Kalark should say good day, and he does. Good day. Attack a. Another hit. Again, all minor stuff. He can't hit. Follow up. Follow up. And... How does this work? Help an ally? Can we wake him up? Is that a thing? I guess. I, I have no idea. Alright, Mutanot said good day. Oh, it wasn't enough. Really? That's unfortunate. I feel a little bad now. Alright, there we go. It's done. So, some good sleeps there. Some good sleeps they threw in on us. It's okay. We'll do a double Shiny Bob heal, and we'll level up Kalark in just a moment. Shiny Bob, and Shiny Bob. We'll level him up. Let's see. We'll give you one more strength, good sir. And we'll give you another agility to make sure you can actually land your attacks. You have 14 axe usages. Uh, definitely want some more rage from you, my friend. And bodybuilding it is. Alright, we'll get you some more armor moving soon. I think you're okay on armor, though. You're not overweight or anything like that, so that's still sweet, sweet, nice. Which time do we have left on our blessings? 4 hours, 32 minutes. Let's go. This will be the last one, guys, and then I'll break out the episode. I promise. I promise, eyes. Alright, another big hit. Follow-up attack, and a fire. And then big fire, too. Nice. Alright, a big smack on that guy. Yay, no poison. We might actually be able to kill this guy. Before his poison comes through. We'll see though. Depends on if we get put to sleep or not. Oh, and we did. Mm, it's unfortunate. His poison will come through. Oh well. It is simply what it is, and there's not much we can do about it. 
Got the tolerate. Here comes a sleep and then a smack to the face to wake us up. All right. And a smack to his face to put him to sleep. Killing him. Nice. Nice droppage of the enemy. I'm going to say Mutanat is really lacking in health. But I suppose Kalark. Kalark is the, the big big man on campus when it comes to HP, so I shouldn't give him too much too much hecklage. I was kind of expecting a little bit more HP from him, but eh, again, it's fine. And... You know what? I'll smack you with my stick and knock you out. Boom! Down it goes. Alright, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This episode was fun. It's nice, like I said, to go back and be able to murder all this stuff, get a lot of experience and everything else. Looks like Galen also leveled up, so we'll, we'll take care of him, and then that's where the episode ends. So a little bit more strength for good old Galen, and I think he's a little slow. We need to get his speed up a little bit more. So I'll get his speed to six uh, to 14, probably get his agility to 18, and keep going with his strength along the way. And then we'll do some more constitution, that way he gets a little bit healthier. Definitely need to keep swords going his way. Looks like he's level 11, which is... Okay, maybe he's 12. Maybe he's 12 after this. Um, he doesn't need perception, knowledge of terrain. I do like hunting a lot, and that's the one I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on for now. Eventually, I'll do the knowledge of terrains a little bit more. That is a pretty useful skill as well. I shouldn't have focused as much on camouflage. That was one of my mistakes. It's nice to have, but it should be more for emergencies. Though this is a harder difficulty. It's not the worst thing I've done. Alright guys, either way, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And, yeah, I really kind of want to shift my focus to this game. This game is a lot of fun. Like I said, I've been Jones in the play it, and I've been playing it on my own. So, uh, maybe look for a few more episodes of this. When I finish up Shattered Planet and Hell, I think I might actually start focusing a little heavier on this. I will finish Risen 1 relatively soon, and then... Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll get through it, guys. We'll get through it. Either way, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys next time with more Lords of Shulama. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.